my name's Sarah, I'm 23 years old and I'm going to be blogging for the Rural Youth Project. Uh, my background is I've grown up on my family farm in Shropshire um, pretty much my whole life until a few weeks ago where I've just moved down to Gloucestershire, which is where I am now, for a new job. Um, prior to this I went to university in Lancaster and I have a degree in geography. Um, after I graduated I became a farm trader for an agricultural merchant. So this involved building a customer base of farmers, um, keeping them up to date on grain markets, fertilizer and seed, and then I would buy their grain and sell them seed or fertilizer. Um, on top of this, I've always had an interest in sustainability and sustainability in agriculture um, and just protecting the environment and also diversification in agriculture. Um, so with this, I've always had a really big interest in agri-tech. Um, which has actually recently led me to start a new job at Farm 491, which is based here in Sirencester at the Royal Agricultural University. Farm 491, um, basically we are an incubator space for startups or SMEs, entrepreneurs who have a business in ag tech. Um, so we can offer different levels of membership depending on where you're at in your business, what you need from hot desking to your own office space. Um, and we also run free two day boot camps just for anyone really who has an ag tech idea or a business just to help you strengthen your business model and get your idea off the ground. So I'm involved in that and promoting all of that really as an outreach officer. Um, so I think that is really important. Personally, I think agri tech is something that we need a lot more education about in general in farming. Um, so that's something I'll probably talk about in another vlog. Um, for me, challenges growing up in a rural area, the biggest one was probably um, access to everywhere. I had to drive absolutely everywhere. Uh, most of my friends lived in towns or cities, so it was so much easier to, to go to their houses and go on nights out with them in their areas. Um, I'd have to rely on staying at their houses and then I'd just have to drive myself back from wherever. Um, also, this is probably the case in a lot of places because there isn't really much going on in rural areas for people my age. Um, especially if you don't necessarily just have your social group in agriculture. A lot of my friends don't have anything to do with agriculture, so they wouldn't have wanted to join um, certain societies. And yeah, it, it sort of just created a bit of a barrier having to drive everywhere. Um, and then I would say the other biggest challenge was the internet connection. This was quite a big problem doing quite a lot of my homework at school. And also when I came back from university on the school holidays, um, I remember doing my dissertation and my internet just crashed and I just lost loads of work and it just wasn't great. So um, I think those are two things which are probably a lot of um, people's problems growing up in a rural environment. Um, I am actually currently in the process of moving to Cheltenham, um, which is going to be a very different lifestyle to the rural one I'm used to. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited to sort of live in the town life for a few years and be able to walk everywhere and not have to drive everywhere um, and also probably have better internet connection. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm quite a person that likes to balance my rural life and my city life. I quite like going to Manchester, London, Liverpool. Um, so yeah, I would say that I'm sort of a mixture of the two, but very much a country girl. Um, so yeah, there are some things I think are big challenges in agriculture and in the, the rural youth. Um, and I'll explore those more in my next few vlogs. So thank you very much for listening and I'll see you soon.